So as you can see today, I'm wearing my polyglot crown. If you want to be wearing one of those, the secret is just to be a student for life, which uh, it's a state of mind that will bring good things and fun and just many good things to you. Hey there, I'm Dorian. You can call me Dodo. I'm 28 years old and I speak Italian, French, Portuguese, Spanish and English, obviously. And also a little bit of Swahili and Indonesian. Uh, so at the beginning, I wasn't really interested in learning languages, but uh, I had to do it for my survival, basically. I was living in uh, Guatemala and basically my only option was to go to a French school and I could only speak Italian. So I just got bullied a lot. <laughs> and uh, to stop being bullied and uh, well, just to uh, integrate myself and finding my little friends and stuff. So I was in a French speaking school in a Spanish speaking country and I could only speak Italian. And that made me a very lonely child at, res <laughs> at recess. <laughs> And, uh, but as soon as I started uh, learning the languages and also through music, that made me just make so many friends. And so I passed from the lonely kid to the happy kid with friends. So yeah, don't be a loser, learn some languages. So how did I learn Portuguese? My father is Angolan, so he speaks Portuguese. That's his uh, mother tongue. But I never, I never liked Portuguese. I never liked the mushroom chewing sound of it. So I never really uh, wanted to learn it. But for some reason, I went to live in uh, Angola. And it's the same story as in Guatemala. You know, like you live in a place and you start catching a few things and then also you want to communicate, you know, you really want to say things, understand what people are saying. And so I just wanted and had to learn it. And also it came pretty natural being in that environment, like everybody around me was speaking Portuguese. So it was natural, a bit slow maybe, but natural to learn it. A little bit like Indonesian, but it's taking pages. <laughs> well, so how did I learn my perfect English? <laughs> so how did I learn English? Um, I, was, I was very young. I was maybe six, seven, eight. And my mom had the great idea uh, to make me watch Eight Miles, Eminem's movie. And uh, I totally fell in love with, you know, the aesthetic, the rap. Just everything about it was, uh, was totally crazy for me. And so that, uh, later that year, when it was my birthday, I asked my father to give me the whole discography of Eminem, which at the time was a good six, six CDs. And so from that moment on, I had my little Sony Walkman and we just listened to Eminem constantly. And I couldn't understand anything at first, of course, because Eminem is so dense and fast. So all the things that I've heard, even if I could not really understand them, they will just get stored in the back of my mind. So I, I can say that unconsciously I was learning great vocabulary. And so those, all those little things stored, then when I, could, when I had the opportunity to know what the meaning was, I will just take it from there and put it on the, the conscious side of my mind. And ta -da! now I just, you know, learn a new word, know the context of that new word into, in the lyrics. Uh, so, I don't know, just listen to Eminem, it's great. If you want to improve your English, Eminem is just the best, at least in my experience. So, most common mistake in learning languages in my opinion, is being afraid. Uh, being afraid to, you know, of being wrong. Because even if you are a bit wrong, first of all, you are communicating. And uh, even if everything is not perfect, you know, like the message still goes across. So that's why we have the language and communication for just to transmit a message. So even if it's not great, perfect and polished, you're still communicating effectively. So don't be afraid to screw up and just throw yourself in. Dive. So, because I know a few languages, sometimes I mix them up. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes not on purpose. Um, this happens a lot with Italian, Spanish and Portuguese, which are the similar, uh, the similar bunch. 
and also sometimes I mix them up on purpose because some words and some expressions, some phrases in certain language just work better. So it's nice to use them. Mm, so funny words and expressions that you have in Italian that you don't really have in other languages. Well, first of all, this. Guys, stop using this to say anything in Italian because this is only for one specific thing, which is what the hell. If you can do a sentence that starts with what the hell and then, you know, like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell is wrong with you? Or this kind of thing. If you can do what the hell, you can use this. If you cannot, don't. Please, I beg you. Just a cute word in Portuguese is bocadinho which means a little bit. Uh, I don't know why, but I just love the word. So, bocadinho, keep it, put it in your pocket and use it someday. Something that we do in Italian and in, and in Spanish is, for example, bello means beautiful, okay? Bello means beautiful. To say very beautiful, we say bellissimo. We just add an issimo or issima after. And this happens also in Spanish. Uh, bueno, buenissimo which is just a way to say like, yeah, very, very much, very, very beautiful or very, very tired or very, very anything. Guys, do you want to know a secret to learn languages more easily? First of all, start small. Get a list of 10 sentences that you like, that you want to say, that you can say all day long and say it all day long. Number two, don't be afraid to screw up just say it say it say it and number three just overall have fun that's it so keep learning keep doing mistakes and keep having fun un bacho <laughs>